for this portion of 1.2.3, we already have our shape and we're going to create the multi-view drawing. So we're gonna come up here to the side then click on design, go to drawing and choose from design. When we do that, it's gonna open up this properties menu. Currently, most of these are fine, but we do wanna change the sheet size to what it says in our activity, which is our A size, eight and a half by 11. We're gonna choose okay. When we choose OK, it's going to create a new document which is attached basically to this shape we've just made. It should look something like this. It might take a little while to load. But once it does load, you'll notice on your cursor, it's going to ask you to place your base view and it's going to show what the front of your object was. So if you chose a different plane when you started, this is gonna look a little different. If that happens, you can change the orientation in this list down here so that you can get the correct view. But as long as you made it the same way, this would be our front. Okay, we're gonna click to drop our base view down. We don't need to change anything else for this menu right now. We just need to hit okay. And if you notice, it's gonna to change to these line views and it's gonna include the hidden lines for the hole that's through our shape. Then what we need to do is we need to add our top and our side. So we're gonna bring our cursor up over to the drawing panel up in the corner here and we need projected view. So we're gonna choose projected view and we're gonna click on the parent view. So that's the original view that we already made. And then it's going to bring another view on our cursor. If you notice, the line is going straight up from our original view to make sure it's in line with the original, just like before when we did it on paper. We're going to click to set it down. Okay, if we move our cursor again and we move our cursor to the side, we're going to see it's going to change and turn this shape again. If we click again, it'll set it down. If we kind of come back to our center and now bring it up and to the right at an angle, this is gonna open up our isometric view. We click, this is the last view we want. So if you clicked it, you'll see these little lines. We just wanna create and continue by clicking this little checkbox. And we're almost done. Our last piece for this one, now we have our front, our top, and our right, and our isometric. But our isometric usually doesn't have hidden lines. It usually has shading or color. There's a couple ways for us to edit this. Either you can right click and choose edit view, oops, uh oh, <laughs> or you can double click and change it here. And we want to change it to shaded and hit close. So again, either double click or right click and edit and it should, and click on it again apparently and it should finally open. All right, we close, and this is the whole thing. We're gonna hit save. It should add drawing to the name you already had for your shape. We're gonna hit okay. And then we are good to take our screenshots and send this multi-view drawing in.